The TV series Zorro, which started in 1957, takes us on the adventures of Don Diego de la Viga, who fights injustice in Spanish California as the masked swordsman Zorro. Behind the mask, he's a hero to the people, using his wit and skills to outsmart villains. This show is packed with moments that will make you laugh, keep you on the edge of your seat, and maybe even bring a tear to your eye. Now, think back to the show. Was there a scene that stuck with you over the years? Maybe it was Zorro's daring rescue or a duel that had you holding your breath. And what about those little known facts or behind the scenes stories? There's always something new to learn about this classic series. We're curious about your connection to Zorro. What's your most memorable experience related to the show? Share your stories and memories with us in the comments. We can't wait to read them. Remember, every episode, scene, or line might have sparked something special for you, and we'd love to hear all about it. Keep watching for more surprising tales from Zorro's world. Merci, Don Diego. Grâce à vous, me voilà fin prêt. Ah, prêt à quoi? In the late 1950s, a TV show brought a hero in a black mask to life, captivating viewers with his daring and swordsmanship. This show was Zorro, set in the early 1800s in California. The lead character, Don Diego de la Viga, fights for justice against corrupt officials and villains as the masked vigilante Zorro. With his trusty horse Tornado, his keen intellect, and his skill with a sword, Zorro became a symbol of the fight against oppression. The show was not just about adventure, it was about standing up for what is right, making it a significant piece of television history. It inspired many to believe in the power of one person to make a difference. Zorro's influence extends beyond the screen, leaving a lasting impression of courage and hope. In an era where television production was as much about efficiency as it was about storytelling, Disney Studios found a way to manage their generous budgets by filming scenes from multiple episodes simultaneously. This approach, while economical, sometimes led to confusion among the actors who struggled to keep track of their characters' development across different episodes. Despite these challenges, the commitment to the show's quality never wavered, even during a legal dispute with ABC that paused production. The studio demonstrated loyalty to their talent, notably Guy Williams, by ensuring he received his salary throughout the two-year hiatus. The show's significance was further cemented as it joined the ranks of other Disney productions airing concurrently, sharing the spotlight with established favorites like The Magical World of Disney and The Mickey Mouse Club. In the classic series, Vinton Hayworth left a lasting impression with his role as the villainous magistrado Carlos Galindo. The casting process saw Guy Williams and Britt Lohman vying for the lead roles. Williams' charming portrayal of the masked hero contrasted with his later role in Lost in Space, where his smile was notably different, reflecting a change in the actor's appearance over time. The dynamic duo of Henry Calvin and Gene Sheldon captured the audience's affection with their comedic chemistry, leading Disney to retain them for other projects after the show ended. In a twist of fate, Guy Williams, who portrayed the lead character, shared a deeper connection with his role than viewers might realize. His surname, Catalano, hints at a heritage from Catalonia, Spain, suggesting a fascinating link to the region known for its rich history and culture. Moreover, the opening sequence of the show is notable for its repetitive mention of the hero's name, emphasizing the character's significance and leaving a lasting impression on the audience. Proprement puni. Ah, C'est à moi de vous poser une question. Comment est-il possible que le plus inexpérimenté... The actor behind the mask, Guy Williams, shared a surprising connection with his character, tracing his lineage back to Catalonia, Spain, which is reflected in his original surname, Catalano. This link hints at a Spanish heritage, aligning with the character's cultural background. In the show, the masked hero rode a horse named Tornado while in Los Angeles, but switched to Phantom during episodes set in Monterey. Beyond his role as the cunning swordsman, Williams is also fondly remembered for his portrayal of John Robinson in the science fiction series Lost in Space. His performances in both series left a lasting impression on audiences, securing his place in television history. You didn't show this part of your plan. You wanted to kill me to keep the jewels for you. 
The show's theme song gained popularity in its own right when Henry Calvin, one of the cast members, recorded a version that resonated with audiences far and wide. Annette Funicello, a well-known actress and singer, held the series in high regard, considering it her favorite. Her admiration was recognized by Walt Disney, leading to a special appearance on the show as a birthday gift. Guy Williams, who played the lead role, spent his later years in Argentina, where the show enjoyed a fervent and dedicated fan base. In the show's final season, Cesar Romero distinguished himself by being the sole guest actor to receive billing as a star in the opening credits. His recurring role was significant enough to warrant this unique recognition, setting a precedent for guest appearances in television series. Bien frappé à sa porte. Don Alexandro n'est pas un vulgaire ranchero, il vous donnait un conseil d'amis et d'un homme, croyez-moi, qui a vécu auprès de ces personnes. In the midst of its success, the series faced a sudden and tragic loss. The lead actor's horse, which was a significant part of the show, died unexpectedly during the production. This event caused a temporary halt in filming and brought a somber mood to the set as the cast and crew had grown fond of the animal. The horse was not only a beloved member of the team, but also a key character in the series, making its loss deeply felt by all involved. Ce qui signifie, hélas, que je dois combattre mon propre père. 